Hoopla are checking in. I really got to talk to y'all about this move that that's known around the world. It's a great move. Um, it's one of the more popular dribbling moves. And, and I'm going to talk about the originator in, or the originators of this move. Now, I came up with a name to describe this move because two people own it and they have they both have rights to it but it's just a little tricky you see because God sham guy is known for the sham guy you know when you throw it out with one yank it back right sham guy. A lot of people do that move around the world, but it's known as the sham guy. Well, back in Philly, we call that the Pooh Island, okay? Named after Jerome Pooh Island. And I played for him before when I was a young boy. He's the originator of the move in our eyes. pulled it off against KJ in the Olympic trials game. He uh, pulled it off a few times that we saw. You know, he used to do the move. Just like I'm sure Sham Guy used to do the move in New York. So he made it famous where he's from in Jerome Island, made it famous in Philly. So it's, it's very common to say somebody got pooed or he hit him with the Poo Island. Everybody knows that means you know what I mean? Everybody just knows that. It just it's very common. We we've been using that term way before we heard um anybody say the sham guy. And um uh, it just so happens that like maybe a year after Pooh Island did it uh for the world to see, you know, uh guy sham guy did it on TV. Now I don't know when they started calling him the sham guy. Maybe they started calling him the sham guy before that. We don't know. But the people in Philly know what I'm talking about. We call it the Pooh Island. So since it's the sham guy in the Pooh Island, we can just consider it a wash and call it the sham poo. No? Sham poo. Maybe that won't work. Maybe you can't hit nobody with the sham poo. But I think it's cool. What y'all think? Also, something that you got to know about these two. They not just no has-beens or nothing like that. Dudes is like... They're very relevant and got they, they handprint on the game now, on some of the, the, the game's, you know, best young talent. So you have Luca over there having, you know, Sham Guy to, um, you know, help him out with anything he needs. And uh, you have uh, guys like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown with veterans over there and the coaching staff like Jerome Allen. So these are dudes that's like, they really, 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 are a big part of this culture, especially the handle culture, the dribbling culture, the street ball culture. They really do. Uh, they're they're the originators of this, and I think they share it, man. Even though Sham God, hey, look, I gotta be honest. God Sham God is a way better name than Jerome Allen. Let's just be honest, right? So Sham God won that. He even did the move, the move with a little bit more style and swag. He really did. Um, the best person I ever saw do the move is Aaron Owens, by far. That's just a little history about the move known as, known today as the Sham Guy. But a long time ago in Philly, it was known as the Pool Island. And it still is to this day. I'm gonna call the name, I'm gonna call the move the shampoo for now on. If I shampoo somebody, that's the that's my move. I stole it from Sham God and Pooh, and I made it the shampoo. Oh!